DEM stands for the discrete element method, which is a numerical method for modeling the flow of material by tracking each individual particle through the simulation and applying Newton's second law at regular intervals. It's different from FEA or CFD because each particle moves and is analyzed independent of the rest, rather than modeling the entire flow as a single entity. DEM uses soft particle dynamics, which means that when the particles impact each other, they actually overlap slightly. So if we have a pair of particles that are moving toward each other with a given velocity, then when they impact each other, they're actually going to overlap a little bit, and a normal force is created between the particles which acts to push them apart. These particle contacts are modeled using spring and dash pot systems. So we have a normal spring and dash pot, which forces the particles apart when they impact each other, and we have a tangential spring and dash pot, which resists the shearing motion as the particles slide against each other. Newton also contains advanced constitutive models like liquid bridge and ratchet, which allow a wide range of sticky, slurry materials to be simulated. In Newton, individual spheres are grouped together to create complex clusters, which result in a significantly more realistic flow pattern than using only spheres. Because spheres can't sustain a rotational moment, so they just roll all over the place. But with a cluster, you have a more complicated shape that provides a better flow pattern. Newton comes preloaded with a ton of different cluster shapes, and you can also create your own cluster shapes using dozens or even hundreds of spheres. Consider the cost of a typical transfer chute, or the cost of misproduction quota due to chute downtime from problems like chute plugage or wear. Using Newton, you can run DEM simulations before creating any detailed chute designs or fabricating any parts. You can improve the general chute design, check the placement of deflectors, ledges, and rock boxes, compare chute wear between different designs, determine the optimal transfer point height, check for chute blockage potential under worst case material conditions, and ensure proper material centering on the receiving belt to avoid belt tracking and spillage issues. Newton is also great for the feasibility stage. With the coarse particle set, you can quickly run several simulations to create a great preliminary design. Then you can turn around and use those results to create an excellent animation to show your client or help win project bids. Newton has the ability to generate several types of bulk solids handling equipment by inputting just a few parameters, including 3-roll and 5-roll conveyor belts, apron feeders, chain feeders, and bucket elevators. Newton automatically creates the surfaces and controls the movement during the simulation. Users can also import their own geometry from a CAD file. Each imported layer can be assigned a different surface velocity, linear motion, rotational motion, cyclic motion, or a custom movement profile. Newton can also record the transverse and longitudinal forces on a conveyor belt, as well as record surface and particle impact and abrasive wear, which is useful for comparing different designs for shoot elements like hoods, impact plates, and rock boxes. Newton has three operating modes, pre-processing, solving, and post-processing. In pre-processing, the input files for the simulation are created. Solving mode is where Newton runs the simulation and creates the output data files. In post-processing, the output files are utilized to review the simulation, plot wear and force data, create single-frame playback files, and generate animations. There are six input windows that are used to set up the simulations. In the geometry window, shoot CAD files are imported, the automatic geometry is generated, and layer motion is configured. Newton supports the DXF file type and the STL file type. The cluster window is where clusters are created and modified. Cluster configurations can also be imported from CAD files. The base library contains over a hundred different cluster shapes. Particle sets are created in the particle set library. Users can create custom sets by adding or removing clusters, or by changing the percent by weight curve. Newton can also automatically generate particle sets by specifying a few input parameters. The material generator window is where the particles are generated. All the material that will pass through the simulation is generated prior to running the simulation and is stored in the input file. In the material properties window, the various material settings are configured. These include basic particle and surface friction coefficients, as well as the parameters for the advanced cohesion models like liquid bridge and ratchet. The general variables window contains the miscellaneous parameters for setting up the simulation, like runtime, time step, number of processing threads, and output file location. Newton supports up to 16 core multi-threading. 
AC Tech's DEM team is continually improving the accuracy of Newton by performing physical testing on real material samples. These tests include basic angle of repose testing, coefficient of friction testing for various materials and surfaces, dynamic rotating drum testing, mass and funnel flow discharge behavior, and other proprietary testing. The test results are used to drive improvements to the constitutive equations. Newton allows the design engineer to accurately predict granular flow. It's a valuable tool for creating new transfer chutes as well as improving existing designs, and can be used to help solve a wide range of bulk solids material problems. For more information, visit our Newton webpage or give us a call. We'd be happy to work with you to find a software solution that matches your needs.